see the fight again, but like I remember Dan having some kind of strap. So, um, I've done some off-camera stuff uh, down here. Uh, you can see that there's a new level down there. Um, I made an iron mine. Wasn't that successful, but I did manage to get one or two things of iron. One, two groups of iron. Um, uh, not veins, but groups. Uh, and so I smelted that up, got 21. There was some, I have some copper smelt, some copper that I got smelting in the furnaces there. Um, I've got some wheat seeds that, uh, I harvested. I'm gonna move this over here. So, I did, since I was on the world for a while, sugarcane grew. So now, I think, yeah, we have enough to make the, uh, um, the, uh, map. So we can do that now. So, uh, let's go, let's do that. Uh, paper, sound, compass, empty map, please don't be in four different maps, it's in four different maps, well, <laughs> look up, our house is blending into the ground, oh, I was not expecting that, oh, come on. Do some bone meal, because I need it. Um, so now we have a map. Um, do I have any leather? I do not have any leather. I'm here wandering trader, I just wanted to murder one of your alms. When I hit. Oh, that was that one. No, oh, didn't pop any. There we go. <laughs> two leads and a piece of leather. I don't know how we had to do two of them, because I'm fairly certain you can get two pieces of leather from one. Well, at least we got it. Um, so now we have a map. Now we have that. We need to make another one. In order to, we need to make two more. Yeah, it's gonna be a little while. Um, we're so far off that we can't even see the grass progress. But that island's looking good. Um, how is there? There's two wandering traders. How is there two? Huh? Um, okay. Cool, I guess. Um, so now that we have that done, um, that map done, um, I don't really know if I want to do it right now or anything like that. But I kind of, uh, I, I don't know if I want to do it either this episode or next episode, or some other time in the future. I feel like it's a little early, but uh, I want to expand the house, and I'm starting to get a little bit more, a little bit more wanting to do that. Um, so... That is a plan, and I don't know if it's really going to be a plan for now, because my next idea for it is a little... It's going to be twice as big, because it, it's going to make another one of these rooms, and then a little bit, because right here is going to be a basement where the storage system is going to go, because it's going to be expanding. So that's going to be a thing. Um... I will have enough space in the island, I'm fairly certain. It might come out a bit here. But, other than that, I think it'll be okay. I don't know. We have quite a bit.
bit of space out the back of the house. I'll figure something out. Um, for what left to do in the however long this episode is going to end up being, because I don't have a plan on however long my episodes are, as long as they're like over 10 minutes, and have an actual outro, because sometimes it happens where I have to go do something. Hmm. Hmm. I did not mean to step on that. Um. So, I don't know what I want to do right now. Okay. I don't really want to put any of this on. The... At some point, I feel like, okay, we could take on the nether. We could, like, start water and lava and stuff. We might end up doing that. Um, slash locate desert. Slash locate biome desert. Desert. It is this direction. It is this direction. Okay. Do I want to do that? Do I want to travel one and a half thousand blocks away? Um. Oh, I have enough to make bread. Make a couple pieces of bread. Um. Where's my boat? Because I'm going to use my boat. It's over there. I'm going to make a new boat. We could make a dock. Let's do that instead. I need spruce though. Slash locate Ty. Okay, my own Ty Ega. That one. 1,235. Is this direction? It's that direction. So we got a taiga that direction and a desert that direction. Okay. I guess we're gonna be making a boat. We're gonna be making a boat to make a dock so that it's easier to have somewhere to put a boat. Um. Let's go to the other side of the island, and then go off in that direction, I guess. Cause we have to go negative 1,000 that direction, and like 600 that direction. There is some other islands over this way, so if we find a lava pool, we'll do that instead. If we end up finding a lava pool before we find a Tyaga, we'll do the lava. Okay? But I'm mainly going to be sticking to the water because it's going to be quicker than sp than walking. Okay, so that's one piece right there. We've had that happen a couple of times. I don't know why, but these, but this is, for some reason, I think considered a river. But I'd say it's a little big to be a river. It's a little bit more of a sea, I'd say. I don't know. Really. You gotta take in mind that one block is one meter. So, like, a hundred blocks is a hundred meters. Well, I guess a, a, uh, I guess we a little bit more of a lake than the sea. I don't know. We're going pretty quickly on the water, though. Guessing that the Tyaga is just gonna be on the edge of an island, because I have seen that happen. Uh, because we haven't seen it in land, but, and so that's why I'm guessing that. We'll start heading off in this direction, because... Uh, I have had it happen, though, where it thinks that I'm, that a certain area is a biome that isn't that biome. Um... 
What? This is some kind of like chunk error thing going on. Cause th surely this shouldn't normally happen. Right? This isn't normally supposed to happen, right? Why? I don't even know anymore. Okay, I'm just gonna... We have... Oh, hang on a second, I was going the way... Okay. We have 400 blocks this direction. So we're gonna find it pretty soon. Because 100 blocks sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. Okay, so it looks like it's here. It's gonna be on this island. Looks like I'm going to have to do parkour in order to get up here. Mm -hmm. uh, there we go. There's a ravine that just happened to spawn like this. So that's cool. That looks like very interesting generation there. Almost as if it's trying to hide something. I don't think Minecraft gener cave generation really tries to hide anything. Um, almost there. Don't know where there is, but we're almost there. Found it. Oh, we could have just gone to that other mountain. I wasn't really thinking. Well, we found some spruce. We just got to get a couple of saplings because spruce is not the most reliant on getting you constant saplings. Oh, there's... Oh. S water. I was going to use my water to get, to like, get my bucket. Okay. So water instantly destroys powder snow. Okay. Was not aware of that, and I'm glad I am now aware. So now we have powdered snow. Let's make some more buckets, okay? Because powdered snow is good to have. I don't know how we're going to transport all of it, considering... It takes up quite a bit of your inventory, but, eh. Powder snow is a pretty cool, like, thing to mess with, because it's like snow, but, like, not. This is why we need leather boots. Um, because boats sink. Boats do indeed sink. Okay. Where'd it go? Oh, no, we'll put this up in it. Okay, so the boat's in there. Here, let me just, like, place that there. I'm lining out the boat. Okay, I'm gonna just put it down and instantly get rid of it. Why am I considered to be freezing when I'm not? Like, it sometimes, like, does the freezing animation? I don't know. All I know is that I should probably be getting out of this powdered snow. That didn't work. Where'd that dirt go? Why am I freezing? I am not in snow. Where'd that dirt- Oh, it went up there! Why am I freezing? I am not in powdered snow. Game, I think you're messing up. Because you think that I'm in powdered snow when I am not. This is fine. Um, anyway. So that was an interesting discovery. I will note that out for the future. 
Bring a water bucket when you go, uh, when you go exploring in, uh, snow. That is definitely a tactic that I feel, that is something that definitely people should know about, because that could be very helpful at times, because it's a little hard to see. I only got one spot from that. It's definitely good to know that you can get rid of it with water, so water is becoming... More of a handy thing. Okay. So. The power bot snow buckets stop fall damage by any chance. We're gonna do some myth busting here. I'm not gonna. I don't wanna have to deal with night, so I'm just gonna time set it. You don't. Hang on a second. Can you, like, MLG, like, powdered snow bucket this? Hmm. Dream, you watching? <laughs> Coming up with even more MLGs. Um. We've had MLG ladder or MLG. I don't even know. We've had so many MLGs, it's uh, kind of hard to track of ice a lot of ice I'm trying to make I'm trying to come up with like an ice ice baby kind of joke but I'm really failing have this powdered snow here I'm gonna grab this water bucket for reasons that you've already seen. Also, another way that you can tell that if it's powdered snow or not. Powdered snow can't have snow layers on it, so that's a giveaway. It's a little tough to find giveaway, but it is a giveaway. So you have to, so pay attention. Really, if you're paying attention to that, you might as well be paying attention to the snow texture. Which is different for powdered snow, it's just not very noted. What do you have in your mouth? How'd you get rabbit hide in your mouth? I don't know if you could spawn with that, but okay. Cool. Episode, I think, seven. I don't know. I don't keep. I forgot to keep track. Um. Learning stuff and making interesting discoveries. While well, trying to get spruce wood so I can make a dock. Oh. Making interesting discoveries. I can make a Minecraft Mythbusters. But then again, chances are it's already going to be Mythbusted because Exuma does this. Um. I'm not saying why that's going to be that. I'm not saying that that's the reason why. I'm just saying I already watch a YouTuber that's doing that, so. But there would be some interesting things to test out, because occasionally I do want to test something out, and then I go into a creative world, that kind of thing. Of course, I don't have an editing software right now. Yes, what is this? More ice. Is that like. Oh, it's packed ice. There's packed ice under the ice. Where's this water? Oh, there's powdered snow here. Oh. Hang on a second. This is a pretty big powder snow thing. This is interesting. What is the correct block to break powdered snow with? I don't know what the correct block is. There, I mean a correct tool. There is no uh, correct tool. Or else it would say on the targeted block on the left side of the screen. Oh wait, no, the right side of the screen. 
um, goat spawnable on, inside step sound blocks, I don't know what some of these tags are. But beam me up. Mm. Okay, so that's gonna go on now. Note, water buckets are really good for exploring snowy areas. Just bring a bucket and find some ice. Also, this is kind of noticeable that there's no thing there, so... I'm coming up with tips on how to survive 1.18. That is a video I could make. I probably will end up making that at some point. So where's that powdered snow that I found earlier? Because I have five sack ones, so I think I'll be okay. Yeah, here it is. Oh, we could turn into ice. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, let's go. Oh, come on. So, boats won't go through powder. Okay, so what is other things that could save you from powder snow? Buckets, water buckets, lava... Lava buckets, though. It wouldn't really make sense unless you had, like, fire resistance or something. But, that's, that is an upper... That is something. Okay, that didn't work. That was because of my timing, not because I was using powdered snow. Oh, come on. A big ravine down there. Oh, that's the ravine we saw earlier. That means we're getting close. Wait, we can just do trigger home. Slash trigger home. There we go. Now we're home, and we can plant spruce. New sapling acquired! Spruce. The Kohler Oak. It's just gonna dump everything in this chest. You know, at this point, it's really just a dump chest. Okay. Um... So, what should we use those three diamonds for? Because we don't have really any lava pools near us. Like, I haven't seen any. So I'm gonna make a diamond pickaxe. I know I don't have to make a diamond pickaxe in order to beat the game, but like... It feels... Yeah. Plus it's one of the achievements that I want to get at some point, so... Eh. Because I do at some point want to go through achievements. Because, I mean, some of these are pretty cool. Like, is it a bird? Is it a balloon? Is it a plane? There's a, there's a, is it a plane achievement that's, uh, oh, come on. Okay, so, powdered snow. I'm nervous about putting it next to that torch, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I just came up with a stupid idea. Do I have any strain? Oh wait, I already know that I can place powdered snow out of a dispenser. <laughs> um, okay. I'm not going to craft all of these into spruce planks. So where should we put this? Let's put it here. I know that it's only one block, but that gives us reason to put it there, so that it's easy to place. Let's put it off of here. One, two, three... And then just spill it off. Okay. That's part one, I guess. We'll do one, two, three. We'll do some spruce here. Turn half into spruce planks. Because we'll use, for pillars, we'll use spruce logs. Because then it's like wet oak. 
but we'll have to, because we'll need, but at the same time, we'll need quite a lot of spruce. Let's just do four. Because then it's enough, but like not too much, so it's like enough. That'll work. That seems about right. I'm gonna copy this design five million more times. Is that three? Yeah, that's three. Three, one, two, three. Ba, 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 ba. So this is what we're gonna be going for. So we do like a boat here. We could do a one of each boat. That could be an interesting achievement if they were uh, to, if they were to enter that one, like get one of each type of wood. I feel like that could be an that should be an achievement considering uh mine stone is an achievement. That would be somewhat of an actual challenge. Plus I don't know if it would add too much to like any speed ones or anything like that cuz all advancements, the 100% speed one for Minecraft what do they do in that speed one? I don't... I've, I've only seen like the first like five minutes of it because I'm, I'm sure it's a long and tedious process. Because it's a long and tedious process to get a shulker and that's even just part one. Like part five even. Oh. The textures. I didn't know if the textures would overlap. But we do have the animated textures inside the snowball. Well, oh, that didn't work. The sun's going down and I'm taking a nap. Um. I'm making a progress over here. Let me see if I update the map a little bit here. Not only I will, I think it's too far. Barely appears. It barely appears, but it does appear. Plus, I missed the layer there. Plus, I think that you know what? I think that might be as far as we put out the dog. Cause like, how many types of wood are there? We have four here. There's six, seven, cause jungle. So wait, wait. So we have the four out here, spruce, acacia, birch, and oak. We have jungle, and then we have warped and crimson. I think that's all of them. So there's seven. Yeah, I think that, no, dark oak, dark oak, so there's eight. There's eight kinds of wood. Okay. So if we were just to collect, so we would need eight things, so just multiply this by two. So we just make, we just need to make two more of these. Plus I'm going to bridge over to that island too. Tiny one. That is attached to ours, because it's like, if you look at it, it's just a little bit of a U there. I'm going to turn these seeds into bone meal. Because I just came up with an idea that we might want to do. Where is this? Okay. Okay, so I just came up with an un another idea overlapping the idea I just had. Um, so, let's see what the... N okay, so let's locate biome. Lush cave. How far is it? 1,300. I can do that. Okay, I'm gonna bone mail this little thing over here. The reason I'm doing that, this is stone. Um, moss blocks can overlap stone, making this whole grass process quite a bit easier. Because we can just mine the uh, moss block, which is so much quicker. We just try to not overlap any of the dirt. Okay, so where's that? This direction, this direction. Okay, so it's the same direction as before, except a little bit further. 
it's just there where we were, but like further off. Okay, sure, I guess. Okay, let me grab a boat. It's over here. Then we have a uh, hoe, so we can use that. Let's go. Um. So once we get that, we can get once we get there and we find a, an actual lush cave, we can then get some moss. Um, and so we can get some of that. I want to get some glow berries and some spore blossoms because you can't get those from normal moss. All the other stuff I think you can get. Um, moss block especially, and then glow, glow berries too. And then if we can find some spore blossoms, because spore blossoms are really cool. It's a portable particle maker. Which may not seem like much, but if you think about it, we don't have any other forms of Portal, portable particle making in normal mi in in uh, survival Minecraft. So, if they added in more of these, which I'm thinking that they're doing, if you look at some of the uh, wild update stuff, like if you look at the uh, mangrove trees that they're adding in, which means another kind of wood to get. Um then it does kind of look like they're going to do that they're going to have some more particles i think also fireflies because uh, also another thing in the in the uh wild update i don't think all of the perspectives as i saw did notice this look a little bit closer at the concept art oh my goodness for one of those bir birch forests and if you look at one of the trees Oh my goodness, what is going on here? You're gonna see something interesting. They have mushrooms going off the side of a tree. If this, if they do put that in, that would be so cool to have mushrooms going on the side of trees. So, there's this giant hill here. Um, let me real quick go on a spectator mode so we get a better view. How big is this hill? It's massive. What, what wire are we at? Oh, I can see it at home. 150 max? Around 150 casually. Um, maybe not speaks here. Caves and glyphs is really something else. I mean, you get this, which looks kind of like a chunkier, but you know it's not because you get this. Those little things there. And a waterfall coming out that actually loads onto this. Well, I guess it would anyways. But, still... Um... That's so cool. Wait, is that it? That's an entirely circular dirt patch. That, I'm fairly certain, might be kind of rare. An entirely circular one. Because normally... Because normally you get like that. Which is not entirely circular or like at all. These caves, man. There's something else. Mm, and meanwhile, there's a tiny little island over there loading in. Never mind, it's the same island. So this is just one big mountain range. Hello, dolphin. How you doing? Do I have anything in my inventory for the dolphin? Here, you can play with this one oak slab. That I... Here, you can play with that, because they play with stuff. They play with... If you drop an item on the ground, they play with it. It's kind of cute. Um... We have... I've been recording for half an hour, and we built a little bit of a dock, and I guess some other stuff, like map, which I guess is kind of important, but still. Um, I'm almost there, actually. We only got a couple hundred blocks. 
Okay, I think I might be on this island because we only have like 200 blocks to go. We have like 200 and a half, I'd say. Yeah, it's just this direction, so it shouldn't be that hard. Dark Oak! Yay! Okay, we need to get four Dark Oak saplings at least. Dark Oak is such a good wood type. It's the darkest wood type, which means it's one of the coolest to use in building. And it makes really good for, like, wet logs. That and spruce. This is the bolder version of spruce. So, it's cooler. And it makes it a little bit easier to use, because... Okay, we got one dark oak from that. I'll put a little stump here. Here, we'll have a little stump. We just got a little stump there. I think I, if I mine out this, these two right here. Okay, can I make that jump? Oh, <gasps> I almost didn't. Okay, so we'll acquire um, two new good things here. Uh, we'll get do dark oak and moss. Two really good things for building and just in general. Two really good features. A new kind of wood is always appreciated because when there's a new kind of wood, that means that there's a new button, a new a new log, a new stripped log, new stripped wood. There is new boat. There's even a new type of boat here in the new in the next update too. Um, like you can get boat in the chest when the new update comes out. I say new update as if it's like in Paga, like pretty far in progress when it isn't. I'm just gonna make a stone axe for now because really that's all I have. Like the the materials for. Plus the strip for those ones really good. Um, let's see, what else do they add when they add in a new kind of wood? I'll just leave this log like this. Um, new kind of tree sometimes. Like recently, we've been getting new kinds of trees. Like the trees look different than the older ones, where they're kind of similar. Which, I guess the only similar ones are oak and birch, but those are, like, really similar. Um. So, yeah. Um. I kind of wish, okay. So, let me just uh, think of an interest. Here's an idea, okay? We make azalea wood, and the wood is, like, pink. Like a kind of a uh, cherry blossom, I guess you could say. Like, it would be Minecraft's cherry blossom. That would be... That probably would be really good for building. I can't really think of any ideas off the top of my head, but... I'm sure that there's so many ideas that you can make with, like, a pink kind of wood. Like, with, uh, warped wood. Um, one of the ideas that was immediately thought of was ghost ship. Okay, now think of, like, what people would do for pink wood. It probably would work really well with crimson as well. Oh, pull there. So, yeah. Anyways, let me, uh... Child. I 
don't know why I try to keep try and keep on quitting him, and it's hard enough to hit him as it is. Okay, I can't own one thing. I'm pretty sure. What am I? If I keep on, if I don't mess up the jumps, if I get far enough away, he'll lose track of me. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! That's so far away. And now my computer thinks that I'm endlessly pressing A or something. Um, that is so incredibly far away. And I'll do it off camera because that's going to be so annoying to get to. What ju that just despawned right in front of my eyes. Huh. So, uh, on that interesting note, uh, I guess I'll end it here. Uh, next episode I'll have my stuff back because I'm going to go get it. It's going to be an interesting journey. Expect the, de expect the death counter to go up by at least one. Anyway. Um, so while I'm going to go do that, uh, bye.